all right mankind and God which is who is in the corner watching this and uh, I really don't want to make a big fuss now I'm, I'm too I'm too blown away but uh, I just want to mark the moment I had to smoke I'm sorry about that you shouldn't smoke you could die and go to heaven and um, I just want to mark the moment I want to acknowledge this massive miracle I want to acknowledge the first movie uh, produced by God himself <laughs> and um, this is this is so awesome this is this is so awesome and you have to understand this this is only a, something like two percent three percent got to do with me and the rest the 97 per percent is all you it's you God doesn't care about percentages of him wherever but this is all about you 90 percent of this is about your life this should be your life okay let's go on all right what's going on some kind of something weird is going on I don't see anything now but yeah you see I it, it, it was so obvious that I noticed that something was very profoundly going on with the stain and with the color and with the changing shape of what I thought was my retina I, of course it didn't cross my mind that this is actually paradise and uh, that this is the, the tombstone and he's moving both things are moving it only hit me like four hours ago that this could be it this is the message and that this is the hero Jesus Christ and uh, the, the shape is changing and uh, it's actually full of little flows of something like blood and it's too thin um, anyway it's too thin for printer to print it doesn't have such resolution of printing so he's messing with everything here it is so awesome it's such a Rembrandt it's unbelievable I know one thing I'm not taking the banknote from this guy yeah I'm not taking a banknote from this guy no 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 don't trust in God. I think America is going to have to change the, the, the saying on the dollar bill. In God we trust. Uh, just In God we actually don't trust. I mean in terms of banknotes, you shouldn't. Don't, don't take a banknote from God. Never. No, 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 no. At this point I just don't believe that anything in my life is actually true. Nothing is true. But pretty much I mean getting to be sure of it. Jesus Christ, can you see what he's doing? Can you see that? I'm using my eye. I hope it stays with the paper, not the real eye. <laughs> and I think, what is it? If your one eye is... Yeah. You see, you see, this is a, this is not a human eye. And it's only at three minutes. It's unbelievable. He really, he could have done a one minute movie, but he decided to make a nine minute movie. Just to, you know, just to, 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 he, he is a kind of doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down God, you know. It's not enough for him to knock you out once. He waits until you pick, until you pick yourself up. Then he blows you away another time and again, again, until you give up on, on doubting. He, he, he wants you to believe for some reason. It's very important to have you see you're looking directly into paradise here it is so awesome it's so it's so beautiful although it looks ugly i mean and the blood it's so at first i felt it's so uh, how shall i say dark and uh, like morbid but now i think of it more as unbelievable art it's a rembrandt of god it's it's a it's a it's a hole into paradise Leading you to sin, then throw it out. Or something like that, is it? So this is the nose. So it wasn't enough to do one miracle. He had to do another one, a different version of one. Like it. I mean, it's like it's a sport, you know? Just. You see what he's doing? I mean, it was obvious, 
and I couldn't pretend that I'm not seeing it and actually he used I think that he used the the night before uh, those two videos or four videos that I made pretty much to get me ready for this miracle to get my mind ready so that when it started happening I would notice and I wouldn't drop the camera and run away or something like that but that I, I would know that uh, because you know uh, I, I was completely sure that the Shroud of Turin actually was his work actually his father's work and uh, that he, he, he created it from A to Z just created it by impacting the molecules of, of that cellulosis on that uh, linen and I said to myself he, he can impact everything because I know this is a, in, 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 an in, impossibly complex god and uh, he's inside our heads impacting molecular life inside our, inside our heads in, a, in our brain so to him impacting uh, molecules of uh, cellulosis and uh, painter paint is printer paint is just it, it's nothing it's a it, it's a joke to him so I, I wasn't so blown away as I should have been I'm losing my goddamn eye yeah, it's it's not a human eye yeah Is this a human eye? I don't think so. And it's just too bright blue. That's how heaven is. pissing me off with this bright blue color everywhere all of a sudden. It looks like blood flow, doesn't it? I think what? he's doing this to also point the Shroud of Turing, because there is plenty of that in that Shroud, it looks like blood flow, but it's actually not. I'm gonna lose my eye. Hope I keep the nose. So I'm waiting for the bus. I actually ex expected that he's gonna do something with my nostril and exactly that one because this this is what he's doing he's always trying to piss me off and he always pisses me off and again he pissed me off and it's just the way he is you know you know just the way he is and so on so this is is that a face over there what is this he's doing something also with the with these lines in paradise and I don't know what is this my face in paradise or something like that it looks like my face no it doesn't I'm just full of shit and I think that I live in paradise no I mean uh, you know I think that there is so much concealed in this movie in this 9 minutes and 12 seconds more I think that I'm suspecting that he actually put some one frames frame only one frame here and there and so on with some other messages and some mathematics probably or whatever I think that the, I think that this video this divine video is so full of I didn't notice that before it looks like my face a little bit or is uh, is it his face did he, did he look like this or, or it's just a uh, nothing. It's also really funny because I don't see it on my laptop screen, but I see it on the this camera screen. You now I think there is so much more concealed in this divine video that uh, people who are going to be exploring it for thousands of years are going to find so much more that I'm surely going to miss. And this is what is going down. And I'm, I'm completely... I don't exist. I don't know if, we, if I can keep it together for very much. Yeah, you see, the other eye is pretty much normal. Whatever normal means with this god. But... And it's really... It's so strange because... The image I see in, in the screen of my camera is actually very much different than the image I see on the laptop screen. I think that there is so much more concealed inside of this 
and so much more is to be uncovered inside of this because this is first divine video in history of the planet and uh, I'm, I, I'm sure I know him he, 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 he he's gonna he's gonna he, he has to do it you know you know he's, he likes these little tricks and I'm gonna do this it's gonna be concealed right now the color of I mean what I see in the in the screen of my camera is very much different from the one I see on the on the laptop screen. Longer. Maybe a day, maybe two, but not much longer. And what is where is he going with this cross here? Yeah, another hour, another miracle. Yeah, you see, another hour, another miracle. It's just, it, it, it's actually true, because after all of these five lines and uh, all of the, it, it's a miracle too. I know it. It's his work, and uh, I, I actually got kind of used to his miracles. It's, uh, it's just something he does, and uh, he's actually accelerating his miracles exponentially in the last two days or something like that. But uh, he was. He, he took it took a while to get me used to these miracles so now it's like oh it's just another movie you know although of course it's not it's a movie about eternal life and paradise and the existence of god but uh, um, i know his tricks by now and uh, so i didn't drop the camera and run away and that was actually very important i think that this night before this video divine video that strange night when I was all blown away that some something was going on with that with that uh, mark uh, whatever that filled and so on that I explained it away that night was very important actually because it uh, kind of uh, got my mind used to the idea that he's gonna do something really really big and I actually expected something new and I was actually very disappointed just one hour before this video uh, when I printed out this paper, I was very disappointed because the the stain was there and it was looking completely normal and it's actually completely abnormal because it's not a stain, it's not a shadow, it's full of little flows of kind of blood but that printer couldn't print so he created, maybe printer printed something but then he straight away he started messing with the, with, with the, with the stain and you can only see these little flows of blood uh, when you magnify the image uh, which I realized later on when I came back home and I started doing photographs of this uh, of this paper and so on but when I first saw it I said oh no this is completely normal uh, my this my dream life is over I really thought I was mad and I actually thought if I was mad then I wouldn't know about it and I would I said to myself okay this is over those five lines were just a coincidence, a striking coincidence, but that's what it is. And then, then this happened, it's really... Okay, my eye is almost lost. It's not your eye, buddy. It's the tomb of resurrection. And at this moment I want to mark, I want to honor God. I want to say that I believe now, it is true, and I will rename the this wardrobe that i live in i will rename it i will rename it into the tomb of resurrection 2.0 because that's exactly what it is this is the tomb of resurrection 2.0 and i guess that first tomb was pretty much the same size or something like that you know he's always full of symbolism that's how he's how, he's, how he speaks to me and that's how he speaks to you with symbols and it's much better than with words because with symbols you have to take the effort to think what he's trying to tell you and by doing that you are actually forming your new mind and new weapons and tools that are going to help you in the future exploring further on and further on so for the first time in the history of mankind mankind uh, welcome to the tomb of resurrection 2.0 because this is exactly what it is i hope he's not messing with any other photographs i actually expected throughout the day that he was going to start messing with the uh, professor dawkins uh, 
uh, I was on alert that he's going to do something on his face, but no, luckily professor is is safe for now. But when he this blows up, he's not going to be all that comfortable. I know it. He's going to be very, very upset. I'm very, very happy in the end. I hope that the bus comes soon because I can't stand this anymore. Let's see how it looks like. There is something in there, I didn't notice. Actually, I don't see this fake face or something like that on my laptop screen, but I see it on my camera screen. I think that there is so much hidden in the resolutions. Maybe he's using actually different resolutions or something like that. Maybe it's actually two versions of the movie or something like that. I just know him and I know that he's, he's put so much stuff in here because I'm trained from the revelations and exploration of the Shroud of Turin. There is so much in there that you can't believe how much of stuff is in there. You know, every little detail is a is a is a is a miracle on, on its own. You know, I guess every little bit, you know, it's like 608 uh, megabytes. This and I, I'm telling you, every single bit is something. What is this? What is what's going on here? It's like it looks like another eye all of a sudden in my camera screen you know because cameras and screens they they change the uh, I don't know the processing and everything they, they, they change the the image that hits my retina now my eye and uh, it's, a, it's a very different image that I see on the camera screen and I think that so many people are gonna be so enthusiastic about discovering more and more on what's inside of this and they're going to become famous and rich about because of this and I wish them all the best and I'm so thankful for the millions of hours that they're going to spend on this it's going to be such a beautiful exploration this is the first divine video in the history of mankind it could even be the, the last divine video because this is actually his production he has done this and he he, 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 he held my hand and the camera and the paper it wasn't me he was just using my body to do this I'm mad. I'm mad. And that's what it is. Shit. i'll have to go to the madhouse Did you lock me up you know it's a stain but it's just not the same stain yeah this is what I was thinking that uh, because I expected it he was, he was gonna pull something I don't expect this is what he always does so I always expect what I don't expect and I actually thought that uh, as I said even the last in, in the first couple of sentences of the previous night videos I said that he can fiddle with everything if he can fiddle with the with the uh, molecular life inside our heads he can he can fiddle with everything so i expected that he was going to fiddle with that image over there and most probably he's going to fiddle with the with the you know electronic uh, version of the image on the server on the google servers or whatever who are in some place called ghana or some place he can change that too and he can change also the the um the uh, you know the the file in that print box uh, in the ZTK library he can do every fucking thing he can change what the printer is doing this is a real god this is the impossibly complex god and this is exactly why why he's doing this he he he's showing you that he can do fucking anything and that it is true that he is the um impossibly complex god and uh, Mr. The professor. Uh, Richard Dawkins is gonna is, he, he's gonna have quite a few sleepless nights because of this particular divine video and I'm sorry about that professor you know it's uh, but you will exist there in that blue 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 place I know it I, and I just know it and I'm so happy I'm gonna have a great time with you we're gonna talk about science 
same, but it's a different stain. And this time, it's gonna close my eye with some, I'm getting, what's that called? We call it Sivan Rena. I see such a different image. The blue is so much brighter on my camera screen. And I just hope that he's not pulling some tricks again inside my camera or something like that and now I'm, th th this is not he's not gonna make another like he made me do a second print maybe he's each actually gonna do a second movie or something like that using this this, this recording now it's quite possible I mean knowing him he, he's gonna do every crazy thing he can think of I mean it's just the way he is it's just, it's, yeah 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 this is so beautiful, this is Rembrandt. Is that a face inside of paradise? Who is this? Is that Trump? Is Trump entering paradise? I think he is. I see such a different image. In my camera screen, it is bright, bright, bright. Blue sky is blue, but on my laptop screen is like much, much darker blue in paradise maybe there's two paradises who knows the old people get he's really pissing me off with this trump is in paradise yes he is it's trump i look really terrible it's not you buddy picture it's not what's you he, what's he doing here is this blood coming out of my nostril? Yeah, is I think it is. It's no. not blood. It's gotta be something else. It's cellulosis. I told him to keep away from my nose. It is my nose. So it is blood flowing down. You know, this nostril thing, I expected it like one zero zero percent because this is what he always does. When I say something, don't do something, he does exactly that. And that's what it is. I think that Trump is in pain. This is Trump. <laughs> is it? I don't know, it looks like a face, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like a face on my camera screen, but on my laptop screen, yeah, I, I can't even make out anything. I think there is so much hidden in this, in here. There are different polarities of light and something on. People are going to explore that for thousands of years, I'm sure. I'm sure there is so much more in here and this is like is this blood or maybe there were some plants you know maybe this is actually how the tomb of resurrection looked like if you were standing outside it looks it looks like th there could be some kind of a plant going up there and so on you know and there was a little bit of a roof maybe over them i would expect that he would use the actual looks of the tomb tomb of resurrection What the fuck is this? I mean, it looks like my soul is in heaven and this heavenly bluish light is shining into my... Alright, I'm getting ahead of myself over here. My soul is actually not in heaven, believe me. It's right here in the Tomb of Resurrection 2.0 and I don't feel good at all. I feel fucked up. Fuck is this in heaven? Who is in heaven? Is this the actual face of Jesus maybe? Or is it he's doing something? It, it does look something like is this you know like eyes and the nose? Do I see this? Or don't I see this? I think there's so much more hidden in here, concealed. He likes to do that. And this is like a blood flow. And believe me, I wasn't bleeding when I was taking that that photograph in that in that what is going on in, in paradise and the heavens are now close or 
or something like that. What's going on in heaven? Something's going on in heaven. And I think that this blood or these plants, I think that the, this is all moving, this is all alive. That's how I feel about it. Maybe it's not, but I, I think that the heavens is moving like, like this. And the the tombstone is moving like oh, a little bit here, a little bit there, but very, quite little, just on the edge of what uh, a human perception machine would notice. So he's always calibrating his miracles, something below below being too, how should I say, too obnoxious. So he's kind of a, he's never saying straight, I am. He's always saying, I am a little bit. I mean, this does look like something like blood. Of course, there's no blood there. He's just faking blood. Like on the Shroud of Turin, a lot of blood there is actually not. It's impacted cellulosis in color. What's what's he doing here? He's. I mean, he, he's doing everything and anything to piss me off. This is number one. And he's successful, always. But I see a very, very different image on my my camera screen this is unbelievable it's much sharper on my camera screen i think there is so much more concealed in this movie it's going to be so much fun seeing what other people find here yeah. okay i think that uh, somewhere after minute uh, he's at eight minutes or something like that uh that's that's when he starts the grand finale then that's when the everything becomes some kind of faster and more explicit and the last three to five seconds are the 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 great the end of the opera or the grand finale and so on so he he directed the movie pretty well he starts a little bit with the introduction then he pops up pumps up and somewhere in the middle it's really good and then he goes a little bit down a little bit down then in the end he just there are some faces in heaven whose face is this what the fuck is this maybe just antifa walked through here and then back through here and this time it was black blood and i can explain this away can i tomb of resurrection yeah my soul is in heaven and yeah buddy your soul is not in heaven go fuck yourself and i'm looking at me from heaven this is how i feel about this yeah you feel wrong about this believe me you're not in heaven but this stone is so obvious i mean is this a human eye of course not this is the tomb of resurrection what else but this stone is so obvious you know it was like this and then they probably rolled it because it's got to be quite a heavy stone i didn't think they would pick it up they would roll it and close it and maybe uh, it's like here is more flat so they would roll and it would stand on the on this where it's a line but something like that but who is this in heaven somebody is in heaven putin no, i don't think putin's in heaven something's going on here and i see it in my camera's screen but not on my laptop screen is it's it's not even visible this is there is so much more in here. All the movement of, of this blood and plants is going to have to be studied. What was going on is all, all going to have to be stabilized so that you can check what is going on. There's going to be so much work. It's going to be thousands of years of work on this before everything that is concealed. Yeah, maybe this stone is like this is the bottom where you roll it and then it's round on top once it's closed. And the bottom is flat, so it stays like that, you know? Maybe something like that. Somebody's in paradise. So heaven is 
like the bright blue sky. Okay, we know the color of heaven. Thank you very much. It's the bright blue sky. Yeah, of course, heaven probably doesn't have a color, but it's how mankind imagines. When we look up and it's bright blue skies, we say, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this stone. It's so obvious. The stone of the resurrection tomb. Yeah, it, it is flat on the bottom. All right, I get it, I get it. I don't know, does he actually switch back to the eye in one frame or something like that? I think it's so much more concealed in this frame by frame, you know, people will have to go frame by frame by frame by frame and, you know, pick up if there is anything more. I think it's so much more in here. Are you done with this? Ritual? But you're gonna close the heaven. There's another eye in the heaven. And something's going on. What the fuck is this? Some kind of a... There is something. You know, one thing about him is he's not doing anything just like that. Everything has a message, a meaning that you have to explore. What the fuck is this? This has got to be you. You who are watching this, one day it has to be you. Maybe it's going to... You have to be sure that it's gonna be your face in, in heaven. You see, this is so beautiful. This is Rembrandt. Although, you know, blood is so... It is morbid. But when it's... Uh, when, you, when you understand that this is the divine Rembrandt, it, it makes it look so... So... I don't know. Yeah, I would say beautiful. I think it's... So close to mankind, you know, blood is so so much about mankind as well. Uh, it's very important and we get special emotions. Close the heavens. Close the heavens. He's not gonna close I've seen the movie, he's not gonna close the heavens. It's an invitation to heavens. There is a way to make it there. That's what this video is. That's what he's saying. You know, this is for mankind. Your ultimate destination of your life should be there. Or the closest proximity of this tomb of resurrection. I hope the bus comes. Is ahead of yeah, the bus is coming in in half a minute. All right, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. This stone is so obvious. Something's going on up here as well. And up here. You know, you must understand that nothing is accidental here. This looks so much 3D. Why does it look so much 3D? You know, this is the first divine video in the history of the planet and uh, I bet you that he's put so much stuff in this, you know. Just look at, look at this. Is this my eye? Trust me, this is not my eye. You know, I don't have any spots and nothing like that. You know, look at the Roman Jesus Christ sign. It's so obvious, actually. He never goes all the way to the hundred percent with his miracles somehow he leaves you know a little bit you see this is a human eye all right but even this is funny why is this looking so 3d it looks so 3d it looks too much 3d you know maybe the, maybe he's doing like he, he's done it with the shroud of turin where there is 3d information actually on the image of the shroud I'm sure there is so much 3D and 4D and 7D in this and in 5,000 years people are gonna discover the 7th dimension in here or something. It looks so beautiful and so 3D. Okay, the bus. Okay, that's it. My camera is again at uh, 35 minutes so I have to go to sleep. Whatever that means. 
and this is what it is I, I wanted to mark the moment and I did and I I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna say it out loud that I acknowledge that this is one of the most maps massive miracles of God and that uh, I thank God and I thank I don't know I thank everything and everything and everybody and uh, I'm not worthy of this at all it's not about me I'm a two percenter 98% of this is all about you God doesn't give a damn about himself believe me this is all for you and it's all about you so so I want I want you to, to feel this in your life and th those of you who are gonna when this blows up in a couple of years those of you who are gonna be living through this uh, you're gonna see probably my life through the next two de decades I guess uh, be thankful that this is going down in your lifetime this is a very 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 profound time for the life of mankind this is so awesome this is a this is a complete and utter beauty this is this is so much okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there and um, again God I'm not worthy thank you I think you just saved the world again otherwise it will be the end but now we have a promise it's guaranteed mankind's gonna go on the planet will be safe everybody's gonna be much 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 happier in their lives within decades of this because people will get to understand that it matters enormously how you live how you get to face this guy here you know and uh, I'm so happy for this. I don't feel anything. I'm completely dead, but I f intellectually, I'm saying thank you, God, again, and uh, God bless God and God bless mankind. We are married again, and this is so beautiful. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>